Good evening YouTube, Eric here, and today we're going to make a pizza. However, it's gonna be slightly different. I saw this video on, I think, TikTok that just kinda seemed interesting. It's a cast iron pizza, but not a traditional style. It's flipped, so what we're gonna do instead of putting the crust at the bottom here is put it on the top after putting all of the ingredients at the bottom. Okay, so what we're going to use to make our pizza is a large 12 inch cast iron skillet. The reason I chose this one is I've been using it for a while and it's got a good amount of seasoning on the bottom of it. And whenever you're using anything acidic, such as pizza sauce, it's going to pull up a little bit of that seasoning from your cast iron skillet, but that's okay. If you're using the skillet all the time, it's not a big deal to cook something tomato based, you know, once, twice a month, as long as you're also cooking fatty fried foods and things like that. Now this particular skillet, you can get at Amazon, Walmart, Target, pretty much everywhere for about $25. I've done a lot of reviews on expensive skillets, such as the Field and the Stargazer. But this, again, 25 bucks. And the only thing you're kind of giving up is a smooth surface. If you look closely at that, it's kind of rough. And you can see, you know, like that. So that's one of the downsides of the Lodge but the more you cook on it, the smoother it'll get. A lot of those cracks and holes will fill in over time and it becomes pretty silky smooth. In an upcoming video, we're going to take the same skillet and try to sand down the bottom surface to make it silky smooth. Well, not completely smooth, but much smoother than this. There's a really good tutorial that I saw, so I'm going to try to follow that and see how it turns out. For our pizza, we like Supreme Pizza. We like to have a lot of um, vegetables on it, so what we're going to do is use pepperoni, some Parmesan cheese. This is just shredded from the deli. Looked pretty good. Uh, mozzarella cheese. We shouldn't need this entire bag, but the other bag was really small, so I just went with this. We've got sliced mushrooms, sliced olives, a bell pepper, and a red onion. And last but not least, we're going to use ragu homemade style pizza sauce. And then for your pizza crust, you could do homemade crust, you could do um, this one, which is just a quick method. Um, that's why I'm going with that tonight. Or you can even go to the bakery at your store and ask if they have fresh homemade pizza dough or bread dough, and you could make your own. And we also like to have a little bit of pepper. So let's get started. So we have chopped up our vegetables. Now, in the video that I watched, they, they use quite a bit, but I think it might make the bottom a little too kind of soggy after cooking the pizza, so we're not gonna go as crazy on the vegetables. Um, so let's start. We're gonna put these in, and then we'll put the rest in. So, let's see here. Put a couple of these in. Go. Let's get some of these. And I'm just gonna kind of spread it out a little bit. There we go. Maybe about three, four more, and then we're done with that. Okay. Next thing I want to do is actually put the pepperoni on first. So. And I wanna say, I forgot to say, I line the bottom of this with olive oil. Um, so, there you go. 
Put our pepperonis on. This is going to be good. I have a feeling. And I like a crispy pepperoni, so I don't mind if it's touching the bottom of the skillet a little bit. I think that's gonna make it really good. The other thing I will say is we have preheated the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and we will cook the pizza for about 20 minutes. Go, just about layered here with pepperonis. There we go. All right, next we'll put a couple uh, bell peppers on. Again, like I said, we're not gonna use the entire um, amount that we cut. Just put a couple on there. I, me personally, I'm not a huge fan of bell peppers, but my girlfriend likes them, so they will go on the pizza. Or you could do like half and half, but that's all right. There we go. Some mushroom. on. Oh, this is already looking good. There we go. And you guys, um, in the comments, guys and gals, let me know what's your favorite kind of pizza. Also, there's this huge debate right now about pineapple on pizza. Does pineapple belong on pizza? Yes or no? Me personally, I don't mind it, I'm partial to it. A little bit of black olive. Just a couple of those. Okay. Sprinkle those around. And then we will move on to the cheese. Okay. A couple more of those. Okay. So we're not gonna use the whole thing, but I just bought just basic Lucerne mozzarella cheese. Shred it out, so. All that around there. Go. One more big handful here. Should be enough cheese. Okay, there we go. And that look good already. Next, we will do the pizza sauce. I just chose this, um, I saw it, it says pizza sauce, so should do the trick. Now I don't know if we should use all of it. I'm probably just gonna pour a little bit, not, not too crazy on there. So let's go in a little circle around here. So almost used all of it, but gonna smooth it out just a little bit with a spoon. Okay. okay, so the last thing we need to do is put on the pizza crust. I went with classic style, they do make a thin crust but I don't know if it would fit the width of this big 12 inch skillet so I just went classic. I will be right back as I try to open this. Alright got it open. Let's see how we do here. I have not used any type of pizza dough or crust like this ever so this is my first time kind of learning here. I'm gonna roll it out and then, oh, okay, it's pretty straightforward. We're just gonna lay it on here and we're going to try to stretch it out a bit. It's very stretchy, so don't do like me and try to end up like with uneven spots. I'm gonna try to stretch this out a bit better. Yeah, this needs to go over here a little bit. And you just wanna kinda roll it up on the side. I think that looks good like that. Go. It's not too bad. This piece here will be a little thick, but that's okay. And there we go. We've got our pizza crust on. We're just going to put a little bit of this 
olive oil on here. So just pour just a tad bit and I'll use the spoon to kind of spread it around. Yeah. Okay, as I said, we will put it in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. And if you would follow me, please. Get that centered. And we will let that cook and come back and see how it does. Okay, so it's been in the oven for about 20 minutes. Let's take a peek. What do y'all think? Does that look good? Let's pull it out. Oh, that's perfect. Oh my God, that's good. Here we go. Ugh. Okay, follow me. Go. Okay, so for our upside down pizza, we're going to take this cutting board. You may have something better, like a big plate, but this is probably the biggest thing I have in the kitchen. So I'm gonna set this right here. This is very hot, so I am going to try to flip it over and let's see what happens. Here we go, it might get messy. So, as you can see, our pepperoni stuck. So I'm gonna call this a fail, unfortunately. But there's the pizza. What we'll do is we'll pick off the pepperoni and put it on there. But you know what? It still looks like it'll taste pretty good. We just gotta get all this stuff off of this and put it on the actual pizza here. So we're gonna take that off, put it on here, and we'll be right back. All right, so we got the pepperoni out. It did stick a little bit. I think in the TikTok video that I watched, the reason they put all the vegetables on the bottom of this before really putting the pepperoni on is because those won't stick as much as the pepperoni did. So we scraped that out, put it on here. It still looks good to me. We're gonna put a little pepper on and give it a cut. See how it cuts. Let's see here. Go. Ta -da. So it is interesting style of cooking pizza. All right, let's try a bite. Let's see how. Ooh, it's still hot. You might need a fork for this style of pizza or spoon, but oh my god, that's good. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I think it's. It's fun, it's a different way. However, I may do an opposite video where I cook with the crust on the bottom of the skillet instead and see how that turns out. All right, well, please like, share, comment, subscribe. 
Let me know if you've ever made a pizza upside down like this. And y'all take care. Bye.